still the opening weekend of Halloween Horror Nights, and tonight we're starting the evening out in the back of the park. Behind us is Academy of Villains. We still need to do that show. The first night we were here, we did a lot of the houses in all of the scare zones. Our main focus this evening is to do all the houses we missed, maybe catch up on some of the scare zones again, take in the Lagoon show, and if we have time, finish it off with Academy of Villains. Let's go see what kind of horrors we can get ourselves into. We're gonna start out the night doing the House of a Thousand Corpses house. Let's get it on. I wonder if it's gonna smell like some fried chicken. Well, it looks like we're probably the first people in House of a Thousand Corpses today. So, this is a, oh my God, this is a great way to start the day. Oh my God. Wait a second, that telephone booth. Is that a Bill and Ted telephone booth right there? This is actually really cool. I can only imagine what it would look like at nighttime. Fried chicken and gasoline. Man, I love this place already. House of a Thousand Corpses was everything that I thought it was going to be. Basically, you're walking through the entire movie inside the Firefly house. The people they had playing it, the actors, spot on. It felt like you were in the movie. I felt like I was going to die at some point. Remember Slaughter Cinema from last year? That was like the trailers, the previews. This felt like it was one of the movies from that scare house. It was good. It's time for Depths of Fear. I don't know too much about this one except that I, I feel like we're going to be underwater. I wonder how they're going to make that happen. Oh no, a monster! Wait, me? This is where they had Slaughter Cinema last year. This year it's Depths of Fear. I love whenever they build entrances like this. We just got done checking out the original house, Depths of Fear. And you know what, Jessica? You jumped quite a bit in that house. They were coming out from all over the place and I wish we could take you in there because it was actually really beautiful, like how they did it. Like all the, I don't know if you want to call it like the, the fishes. They had all kinds of different special effects in there. Yeah. And it was really neat to, neat to look at. What do you think of the place? I mean, you got scared quite a bit. The fish spit in my mouth. So that's twice tonight that you had something spit in your mouth? Yeah. Or drip in your mouth? Yeah. And you said, now you said earlier that there's a good chance that tomorrow you might turn into, what did you say it was? Psycho fried chicken eating hillbilly mutated fish. It was gross. It could happen. It pays to get here early. We haven't even been here more than an hour and this is our third house. Nightingale's Blood Pit. Oh my lord, I've seen pictures of this at nighttime. But we had to see it during the day. Look at that. This is amazing. You can't really tell, but that's a creature eating that horse. Wow. And if you look right there, that, my friends, is a severed head. Man, they really went all out with the detail here. Still have a couple minutes before the house officially opens, so we're just standing here taking it all in. This is some serious set design. Every house in here is so good. blood pit and I was really kind of impressed before we even went to the house I have a really cool exterior that you can check out before going in and it smells authentic to a uh, turn of the century or whatever bloody gladiator pit with scary monsters but it was really cool they put a lot of detail into their houses so even though it's not like a big name house it's really cool to check out 
Since it's daylight, I figured let's go head over to Vikings Undead, which is probably the hardest scare zone to film because it's so dark over there. Now that there's a lot of light, should be able to see it a lot easier. There's people screaming everywhere. the barbecue pit the other day where the guy who looked like Bill Mosley was just yeah. stabbing and stabbing this poor fellow and you can look closely you can see his vertebrae well, look how angelic that looks been looking forward to this one now it's time for graveyard games it's kind of hard to tell right now but projected on that door it's like a Facebook page. Basically, the story goes, there's a bunch of disrespectful kids have awakened something evil inside a graveyard. And you're walking through and discovering it. So we just got out of graveyard games, and you know what? Nothing spit in my mouth. Nothing spit in her mouth, but I can see why people say, are saying that this is like oh, a fan it's favorite. it's beautiful. Yeah, I think it's my favorite so far. It is gorgeous. I did not want it to end. Well, I mean, of the like non-big name houses, yeah, like this, I didn't want to leave it either. It was really creepy, actually. I got a couple of jumps and uh, some things like shoot at your legs and made me jump too. And uh, it would, I loved it. I would go to this one a lot. I would go to all of them a lot so far. I can't wait to do this one again. Yeah. My two favorite here would probably have to be Ghostbusters for the nostalgic part of it. But this one here, it's kind of terrifying. I mean, I can see why people would get terrified walking through this one. I found it beautiful. Especially if the lines were very thin. Sparse. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, towards the end of the night when you get to go through a house practically by yourself or like with just not that many people around you, this would be pretty creepy and beautiful. And I'd probably scream a lot. The sun is officially starting to set, which means <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights is in full effect. We've done most of the houses here. We still have a few to get through, but this is where Halloween Horror Nights comes to life. And all the lights come on and the ghouls come out. So let's go play with the dead. Looks like we found ourselves inside Zombie Land. Double tap. Again. It is a zombie that's working out. Oh, I, that's cracking me up. What's with the frying pan? This is my weapon. For what? For the zombies everywhere. Have you not heard? Ma that mad cow disease? It's actually mad zombie disease. Yes. Yeah, you have to watch out. They're everywhere. I they wish I had a weapon too. Well, maybe Best you can find, you. find something. I'd say use that, but it looks like you need that. It looks expensive. You know, maybe not that. Don't use your fists though, because they'll just eat them right off. They love human flesh for sure. So, Thank yeah, you for protecting me. Out. They're very fast. Do you know what our number one rule is? What's that? It's cardio. So you've got to be able to run fast because they aren't slow. They're really fast. How many rules are there? It's got to be a 37, lot. 37, I believe. Crap. A lot. A lot of rules. It's really hard to remember. But you got to try. And stay out of the bathrooms. Best of luck. They like to hide in there. There are zombies everywhere. They are all dead. I heard rumors he was here. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bill Murray. I hate to say it, there's really not much going on here in the Zombieland Scare Zone. There are some people dressed up as zombies, but there's really not much going on. 
Vamp 85 last year was a lot better. It's too dark to get any closer and open them up, but there's dead people in there. It says rule number three. Beware of bathrooms. Jessica's gonna try. You can kind of see somebody in there. It just sounds disgusting. No, try the other ones. So it's like Russian roulette. You never know which one has a scare actor in it. Oh, that's hilarious. This place looks a lot different at night. Everything's all lit up right now. All neon. We didn't catch it in our video for opening night, so there's the main entrance. All 80s like. And oh yeah, Voodoo Donut. They have a Halloween Horror Nights exclusive donut. So let's go take a look at that. So they have three donuts for Halloween Horror Nights. One is right there with the Stranger Things run, one's with the waffle cone, and the other one is the vampire donut. I wonder which one we should get. Jessica, are you gonna get an HHN donut? Well, no. I don't like filling in my donuts. I just like glazed donut methods. Even if you're not a big fan of donuts, you gotta love the logo they got going on. That's awesome. So this is what we have. Two little pinks, the two apple fritters, and your four glazes. Very nice, very nice. Very delicious. And then over in the small one, we have the HHN one. We have the very special vampire. Oh, check him out. Oreo Bavarian. Best very, stained out. Very cool. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes no problem, guys. Beautiful. Great to see you guys. Thank you for coming. Anytime, man. How morbidly cute is this? It's a vampire donut. On the inside, it's got Oreo Bavarian cream, and on the outside, it's got vanilla frosting. Who doesn't love donuts, right? This is good. It's very good. I took a bite out of his head. It's coming my way wherever I go, hard luck is that it stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.